Welcome, in front of me is a Oppo Reno 12FS and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now in a moment you should be able to see that the phone I have in front of me is locked and a little bit more than just a lock in the corner. Uh, so let's wait for that to happen and while that, that is loading up I'm going to quickly mention that we will need number one internet connection on this device and another one uh, we will need a second phone for this. I will be using some Motorola for this but you can use virtually any Android device that has Google Play Store on it. As all we will need is access to a specific application which is the uh, clone phone that is on here. Now I do want to point out though one very important thing. Uh, there are certain Android phones that will not be able to do this uh, because they are just too cheap. Uh, so if a budget Android, if you have any kind of budget Android phone, uh, that budget device might have the draw over other applications feature disabled by default and you might not be able to enable it. In such a cases, uh, that kind of device will not function whatsoever with uh, well, this bypass. So you need to grab a different Android device and we do need some kind of Android phone. Anyway, so let's click on Don't Copy. So to get started uh, on our not locked device, we're going to search for clone, clone phone. There, I have no internet. Let's try to fix that up quickly. Oh wait, I am connected to this. There we go. Let's try that again. Come on. Um, all right, I think this network is down at the moment in the office. So I will be selecting this one, which is the same one that I connected to here. Um, Hopefully that works now. I guess I'm just going to create a hotspot. There we go. Hotspot enabled. work now apparently not verify it's you it's me uh, bear with me while I try to deal with uh, Google's bullshit right now so Here, up yours, Google. You don't need to recheck that the correct person is always logged in. My goodness. Okay, so now that we got that annoyance out of the way, uh, because, you know, Google always needs to know if the person that is using this account is the, this one. If by some cheeky way you're not, uh, you know, circumventing their algorithms of data gathering. Anyway, um, let's again search for clone phone. And this time around, yep, there we go. It just finds it. And there is one from Oppo. So you can click on that and select install. So this is installing. Now let's move over to our locked device. And here, um, just to showcase, uh, you can see it is locked. It still need to draw the verification pattern to unlock it. And if I close this, it will tell me to use the uh, Google account instead to verify it that way. Now we are assuming that we don't know either one of those. So what you want to do is oops, back out to the Wi-Fi connection page right over here or if you're at the very beginning of the setup progress forward to this point connect to your network and uh, let's move that out of the way and then once you have connected to your network we're going to click on this eye icon now the reason you wanted to connect to the uh, to network to do this is because now when you are connected it gives you much more options right here 
And one of the options that we need is the share option. Share option isn't available to you if you haven't connected to a network as it's not yours to share. So I'm gonna click on the share. I am gonna uh, block this with my hand as it does show a QR code along with the password for this network. So I do want to just oh, block that. So there we go. Now right here, you will see nearby option at the bottom. So you wanna click on it, select continue, three dots in a corner and settings. Next, click right here on this blue text, learn more about QuickShare. Click on the three dots and select share article. This will give you options, uh, which you can use to share. You want to click on Chrome. Make sure you select use without an account. And it will freeze up. Uh, first time around, I don't think it always, it always, al al almost always never does anything. So once you click it again, it will then close your browser. So you want to repeat this process. So share article, again, select Chrome. And this time around, it will just open it up. Select no thanks. And in the search bar, you want to navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. like so next select consent i'm gonna scroll down and you want to select your settings now in here let me quickly catch up with the guide as i do want to figure out what i need to open so here we're gonna select home screen and lock screen and then we're gonna select home screen layout this glitches out your phone when it's in setup stage and brings us to the home screen. Don't click away just yet, we're not even done. We're barely halfway. So next, we will now select the uh, folder, this entire folder on the second page. Okay. And here you can see this icon. This is the same icon uh, that we have for clone phone. I'm gonna open it up. Select that this is a new device. Allow. And whatever it pops up with, select allow or while using app. Next, uh, other Android. And this generates a QR code. So we're now all set with this device. Now I'm gonna, before I go any further, I'm gonna quickly clarify something for people that will, will be very observative and wonder why we didn't do that yet. Um, later on, we will be performing a factory reset of the device through settings. Um, Right now we can't do that, and the reason for that is the device is still in a locked state. As you can see, we don't even have all the buttons at the bottom, so even though we have access to our home screen, the phone still thinks it's in a setup stage. And if you were to perform a factory reset of the phone, which we do have option to do right now, this wouldn't help us at all. And I'm mentioning that because that later on will be the crucial part that removes all the protections from the device, uh, but we first need to be done with the setup, which the, in the eyes of the phone itself, we're still in a setup stage. So anyway, continuing on the process, let's grab our second phone that we have access to and open up the uh, clone phone application that we have downloaded. Select agree and continue. Scan the QR code, okay. And for some reason, Oppo has this uh, idiotic, I think it's just lost in translation option where it says deauthorize. Now this might seem counterintuitive, but you want to click on that and then you're deauthorizing something which didn't have authorization anyway, so I'm not sure what you're deauthorizing. So you can authorize it by selecting, for instance, while using the app. We all need to do that a couple more times, by the way. Anyway, now that the camera is open, you just want to hover the camera over the phone. This will connect these two devices together now. Again, we need to deauthorize it so we can authorize it. Settings, select clone phone whenever you have this app list just find clone phone toggle it on and then go back twice it's now connecting connected now here we're gonna deselect deselect anyway deselect anyway deselect anyway deselect anyway the only thing that you want to have selected is the apps right here click on next Again, we're gonna select settings, toggle it on, go back, next. It loads uh, the application category right here. So we're gonna 
deselect it actually then we're going to click on the text itself and this shows us all the applications that are on this phone here you just want to select up that has the smallest size which in this case would probably be the google play store now i'm actually going to select this because i don't know if google play store will function correctly uh, with like if it will even allow me to do so so i don't want to do this one even though it's the smallest so i picked the second i think best option which is some game that comes pre-installed here let's click on okay so only one app is selected right now 164 megabytes in size now i'm gonna click on next again the authorize allow and then start migrating start migrating this should go fairly quickly Now, the smaller the size you can pick, the faster this will go. Uh, this usually, like with a uh, couple megabyte sizes, obviously takes just like up to two, three seconds. So, with over a hundred megabytes, obviously it takes a little bit longer, but it's almost done. There we go. So, this phone is done. We don't need it anymore. Now, let's wait for this one to finish up. There we go. Whoops, uh, I just clicked on something. There we go. Now, you might see that it failed. Uh, in your case, it might say that it succeeded or failed. It doesn't really matter. And none of this has any kind of, uh, you know, a need to succeed, to be honest. So if it failed, don't worry. Everything still worked just fine. Now, next, you're just going to click on Done. And you will now see that we have skipped the verification portion of the setup because we're now taken back to the setup where you can choose Screen Lock. We're going to skip that. We don't need a Screen Lock. So select Later, Next continue select your navigation style again this is temporary so it doesn't really matter what you choose right now and then select get started now once you have access to your home screen you want to navigate into these settings scroll all the way down to additional settings again scroll down and here select backup and reset and select reset phone erase all data erase all data and then click on that button for the second time and this will begin factory resetting your phone now, i'm not going to go through this on the video uh, as this just takes several minutes uh, of resetting and shows you absolutely nothing and the moment you press on the erase data for the second time the bypass is finished that's basically it uh, it will reset your phone and take you back to the setup screen at which point you can set it up in whatever way you want as the device will be fully unlocked at that point and to explain what is happening and why we went with this kind of order uh, when we had access to home screen before like i mentioned before we couldn't do the uh, reset because the device was still considering itself to be in the setup state now that the setup is completed when you do a reset through settings the phone after obviously it's set up uh, gives you the option to just delete all data and that will also include the uh, protection that was on this device that still actually is present on this phone the screen lock and google account that was a verification method it's still here but when you go through the erase data process uh, after the setup is completed the device gets rid of it as it considers you as a legit user uh, that should know everything and typically when you have your device set up and uh, and you go through the factory reset you, you know all your screen locks and all that stuff to, to do this so there's no problem so it allows you to reset it without any kind of problem and remove all the data from it including the protections now for people that want to see me do this i'll be recording a second video just a simple reset through settings of this device um but this will be a continuation literally after this video uh, it's technically not going to be related but if you really want to see the reset and just the lack of little like icon after it's finished in the corner uh then you can check that video out like i said it won't really show you much in terms of uh info there as it's fully automatic reset now anyway with that being said hopefully you found this video helpful and it worked for you and if it did don't forget to smash like subscribe and thanks for watching